Okay guys, so this is um, introducing you to your active recovery day. This is designed to keep you moving, to hopefully speed up your recovery, and to allow you to get fitter quicker, but not break the body down anymore, not be too challenging. So it should definitely be a much easier intensity to the routine. So with the foam roller, this is basically like a DIY sports massage. Like a little search and destroy mission, we're actively searching out what areas of the body are holding a lot of tension, and can we free that up and can we release that? So the first one we're gonna show, we're gonna work uh, from the bottom of the body upwards. We're gonna work on releasing the calves. Um, the first part of the calf I'm gonna place on is just the Achilles. It's really crucial when we do this movement that we keep the ankle relaxed so that we can travel a little bit deeper into the soft tissue. Um, if we can, we'll go for a double stack. This is gonna give us extra weight, extra pressure down on the area. You notice my hands are just gonna lift my body weight gently off the floor. And what I'm gonna do is slowly roll up and I'm searching straight away for anything that feels tender or uncomfortable. Remember, when we start exploring up the calf, so the bottom of the calf there on the soleus, we're also gonna explore the inside. So we want to drop that big toe to the floor, see what's happening on the inside of the calf, as well as that middle position, as well as the outside, okay? Um, so as you travel up, if you don't really feel anything there, then of course we're just going to search a little bit further up on the calf. What I tend to focus on is think about on a scale of 1 to 10 as to how sensitive this is. Uh, so 1 would be I can hardly feel anything, 10 would be I've got tears in my eyes, I'm, I'm going to start crying, okay? So this shouldn't be too painful, this shouldn't be painful really at all. Um, if something's that sensitive and really tender, what you'll definitely need to do is take the top leg off and just work with single leg pressure rather than the double leg pressure. So this is what we're going to do. If we found a sensitive spot, let's say I rolled up a little bit, and this starts to feel super tender. So I'm going to say, it's a seven, that's a seven out of ten. So I'm, you know, I'm starting to get emotional on this spot, okay? So we've got some options. We can either just hang out here 20 to 30 seconds and try and wait for our body self-defense mechanism to kick in, which will naturally start relaxing uh, the tissues around that area. And what we should notice is that seven starts to drop and become less sensitive. So in other words, it will turn into a six or a five. As soon as I've achieved that, that's game over on that spot and I can slowly roll up the leg and explore the next spot. If you're a bit more adventurous on these foam rollers, you want something to do rather than just sitting there uh, still, we can add some cross friction or a lateral skin drag. So we start cross frictioning and trying to free up, actively freeing up the tissues there a little bit more. Another option would be to pressure wave. Pressure wave is where we sweep laterally through and over the spot that we're focusing on from side to side. We're looking at completing the whole of this calf, so keep exploring until we get right underneath the back of the knee. If you're new to doing this, guess what? You're probably gonna find quite a lot of stuff that you didn't expect. So potentially after about two weeks of using this foam roller, we should be able to drop those high sensitive numbers uh, from eights and nines down to sevens and sixes. Okay, just uh, dosing the body with it little and often, you'll get some great results. Okay, so for the next one, we're going into the hamstrings. Okay, so beware, this can be a little bit sensitive. What we're gonna basically do is try and sit down on the foam roller. If you notice, my left knee is out towards the side and all of my body weight is sat down on the top of the roller. I'm gonna control this position by using both hands on either side of the roller. And gently, all I'm gonna do is slowly work my way down through the top of the hamstring. And again, it's that search and destroy mission. So I'm looking for where feels sensitive, where feels tender. I can also explore the inside of the hamstring, the middle, the outside of the hamstring, depending on where I point the toes towards. Break down, we can add some cross friction, so we can have that little lateral skin drag from side to side, or we could work on that little pressure wave position where we're just sweeping laterally through from left to right, and just waiting, generally that 20 to 30 second time period, for that sensitivity to reduce. So now we're onto glutes. So when we sit on top of our roller, what we're gonna to look to do here is take the right foot and cross that over the left uh, knee. We're gonna take the right hand down on the floor, then we're gonna walk the left heel in towards the foam roller. It's crucial here that I'm not putting all of my weight back into my arm. I'm actually trying to put most of my weight down into the roller. 
So once I've gone into this position, I want to shift all of my weight just onto the right glute, the right butt cheek. And then here, what I'm gonna do is slowly sweep right to the very top of the glute, stopping before we hit the lower back, forwards over the hip, right to the bottom of that glute. Again, that cross friction, that lateral skin drag up and down, trying to free that up. If we go to the other side, left foot over the right knee, right heel walks in, make sure whichever leg we cross, it's that glute that we're going onto. We don't want to cross the leg and then go onto the other side, because we've lengthened the tissue on this side, and then we want to put the weight down through and start exploring on that left glute. Next one we've got is to target our quads. So this, this area can be surprisingly tender, surprisingly sensitive. This can be a really good tool to try and help uh, free that area up. So what we're gonna do is just work a single leg at a time. So I'll start off with my kneecap just on this side of the, of the roller. When I'm in this position, I'm gonna try and keep my spine in fairly good alignment all the way through the movement. So we don't want to be sagging that back down towards the floor. Just gonna try and maintain that plank. The goal is to try and release the quad and make sure it's a really jelly-like thigh so we're able to sink in nice and deep towards uh, the, the deeper part of the tissues there. So just try and shake that leg nice and loose and then we're gonna go on that explore. And we're just gonna search up the leg, trying to see what particular spot might feel sensitive and tender. So if you find an area that feels quite tight, quite restricted, quite sensitive, we can do the stop, hold, and breathe, 20 to 30 seconds, try and wait for that sensitivity to reduce, or we can go for a little lateral skin drag, the cross friction. So that sort of scissoring effect of the leg, going from left to right. Um, if you're a real glutton for punishment and you like to go a little bit deeper, we can pin down the spot on the roller, and then we can gently bring that knee up to 90 degrees, and then relax back down. So we get that lengthening and that shortening effect. Then we can change and do the same on the other side. So nice, relaxed thigh. The longer you spend in this position, the deeper you will end up sinking into the quad. And then finally, we have uh, some release uh, for the back. So this is predominantly focusing on the thoracic spine. So what we can do on the foam roll is really look to get our thoracic spine into a nice extended position. The thoracic spine should be able to flex, we know it does that, should be able to get into a nice extended position. We should have this lovely lateral flexion as well, and it's responsible for rotation. So if we break down any one of those movements, we end up with a, a quite um, a sticky uh, thoracic spine. The knock-on effect there is that we can actually start doing more movement than we should through the lumbar part of our spine. And the lumbar part, the lower back, is where we should be staying nice and stable. So I hope that you find this workout helpful and maybe even fun. But if you like the idea of exercising in a group training environment, uh, come and visit us at David Lloyd Clubs. Have a look at davidlloyd.co.uk. We offer a Synergy uh, Snowfit workout, um, also a family Synergy Snowfit workout.